Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we are going to be reviewing one of my games. This is going to be an ESEA Road to Rank S game. As you guys can see, I am currently Global Elite and Matchmaker, and slowly making my way up through the rankings in ESEA. Now we do have a special guest in this game here today. As you can see, Stan is Law is playing on my team. If you are unfamiliar with him, he is a current pro player playing for the team known as Optic. He plays alongside of Tarek, Mixwell, Rush, and Naf. Alright, and back to the game. As you guys can see, I've already gone down, which leaves my last two teammates alive here against two CTs. Sadly, it doesn't go too well for us, and we do lose the pistol round. On the next round, I buy a Deagle, and we decide to make our way up Catwalk to see if we can get any picks in the site. Now while I do go down, Gummy is able to take the B site, which means that we can rotate the bomb around and plant it. This forces the CTs to have to retake, and Gummy is able to take the last one down. Having won that round, I buy an ump and make my way towards the middle when a guy flanks from long. I turn around and I'm able to take him down. Meanwhile, my teammates make their way into the B site, so I decide it's probably best to come in with them and try to hold an angle. Not wanting to be shot from tunnels, I make my way behind the big box and just watch the doors to make sure no one pushes through. I like to keep my crosshair at exactly this position because it gives me plenty of time to react when someone comes in through the door and I have a little bit of an advantage because of the angle. On the next round we run into a little bit of a problem as the guy with the bomb seems to be AFK. Now as you can see here, in ESEA, team attacking does no damage. Still though, without the bomb, winning the round is going to be a little bit more difficult than we'd like, so we're just going to sit around and wait for him to drop it. Eventually he does and we find ourselves in a 3v2 and make our way over towards the B site. The next round, no one crosses middle immediately, but a guy does end up picking from the bottom. After that, we notice that the bomb goes down and lower B tunnels, so we need to go after it. On the next round, I find myself in a 1v3 situation, and I decide to take long. After getting those first two picks, I figure I have it in the bag, and in all honesty, I should have won this round. I can't believe that I ended up doing what I did at the very end. My confidence betrayed me as I missed the first shot, and then I decided to go for the re-peek. The next round goes about the same, and we find ourselves in a 2v4 situation. After killing everyone in the site, I figured the last guy is going to come from B tunnel, so I'm a little wary of planting the bomb. I think I'm going to hit the shot, but then I end up missing the AWP shot, but I eventually finish it up. On the next round, they drop a ton of smokes in middle, and I'm a little bit wary of that, but me and my teammate decide to make our way up catwalk. After that, taking the site is relatively easy. The next round once again starts off with a guy trying to pick me in middle. After that I try to hold an angle in middle to see if I can get anyone crossing over, but this guy actually peeks it really nice and takes me down. It's okay though, because Gummy pulls off an incredibly nice round here. I mean, just check out this 1v3. For the next couple of rounds, I didn't do too much. Now on the 14th round, I was making my way towards Catwalk when a guy pushes out from middle. Knowing they still had a guy B, I checked B tunnels just to make sure he wasn't in lower. But of course, I missed the shot. Now on the final round of the half, I found my teammates going down all over the place, leaving us in a 2v4. Since I have an AWP, we decided to make our way back towards Long. With the bomb on his back, my teammate decides to try to cross to site to try to plant the bomb. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to just watch the smoke to make sure he can't get picked. 
He calls the guy in sight, but as I'm crossing, I think I see a guy pushing through the smoke in the right side of the smoke where it's lighter. But then I don't see him anymore. Now in a 1v1, I realize the last guy's probably flanking from long, and I realize this right before he takes his shot, just barely getting out of the way in time. So now I make a plan that I'm going to go all the way to B, plant the bomb, and see if I can kill him on the rotation. After all, it's much harder to counter strafe when going forward than it is when you're going side to side. And with that, the first half ends. The next half starts with me and Gummies playing long together. But the terrorists seem to rush into B site, which causes us to have to rotate back. On the next round we find ourselves on a save, but instead of going with my usual 5-7 in armor, I go with a P250 instead. After getting that first pick, I decide to creep up and hide against the door so that the guy won't see me and maybe I'll be able to pick him as he crosses. I guess the timing was bad though, or he just expected me to be there for some reason. On the next round we just get obliterated from Catwalk. Stan tries to make a hero play, and it's a valiant effort at that, but at the end he goes down as well. On the 19th round, my job is to hold long, and I'm able to kill the first guy coming out, but then I miss two easy shots on the next two guys. Luckily Stan pulls this amazing round out of his ass. Before we know it, we pick up the last few rounds and we're already on 15 to 7. And while I started off the round with a nice pick, Stan inevitably finishes the round. Anyways guys, that's it for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below.